So I'm obviously glad to catch up with uh, John McGuinness at the, the press launch. Um, excited to be back, ready to go? Yeah, always excited when I come to the Isle of Man, even if it's not for one of these. I love being on the Isle of Man. It's a special place in my heart. It's, you know, uh, I'll, you know, just like being here, beautiful places. I've never been on the train uh, <laughs> before. I've been on the, the electric train from Douglas across the mountain, but I've never been on the steam train from to here. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. something different. Well, it was just dead cool, you know. It was just, saw some lovely places and just sat there and we just talked rubbish for an hour or so on the on the on the trains. So what like motorbike racers do, just talk rubbish. So it, was, it was good. It's nice. The original idea for today's event was meant to be up Snaefell on the tram, but obviously that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, no. I was up there today with some journalists and the snow's. It's like concrete now. It's rock hard. It's not snow. It's like packs of ice. It's just bizarre. I don't know what's going on. But it would have been nice to go up there. But we can always go up there another time. Like I said, I've never been up there either. I've been lots of places on the Isle of Man, but I've not been right to the top. But uh, I've ridden over the thing many a times on two wheels, but not not got right to the top. So well, you know, you're, you're sort of really part of us now because I mean, you got your own place now, your own corner. So what, what's left? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really? How good is that? How cool is that? I mean, it's amazing. And, and uh, you know, the, it's gone out this morning to to, to everywhere and. You know, my mum and dad, everybody's on the phone, brothers and everybody and the wife and that, they're all really happy and dead proud. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the same, you know, I feel the same. You know, it's uh, to have a corner named after you on, on the most famous track, it's just incredible. You know, it's uh, when I'm gone and generations are gone and whatever, they're gonna, it's still going to be McGuinnesses. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, the nice thing about it is when people are learning the track, they're going to call it McGuinnesses because they'll know where they are on the track. So yeah. it'd be quite cool. But, uh, yeah, special special day that, and uh, you know I'm really honoured and uh, humbled to be fair about it. So it's yeah. nice. Now we're talking was like you're coming to the end of your career. Is that what you're thinking? Me retirement is that an option now? Well, uh, I, I, maybe I don't know. I mean I've not I've not I don't think about it at all retiring. I feel strong. I feel good. I look rubbish, but I feel <laughs> terrific. You know, yeah. eyesight's good. Body's average but you know when I'm on the bike I feel a million dollars you know I feel really good and uh, do you make a conscious decision each year though like I will go ahead with it or is it just automatically I'm doing it until well, I can't it, yes and no you know I, obviously it's going to be really difficult when you know if Honda or a ride for I've been for them for many many years and 06 every year till now and they still have the faith in me and they ask me what I want to do do you want to ride and I said I'd love to ride again so you know they work this They've worked a package round with me with the World Endurance thing, and it just works so lovely for me. You know, I don't, I get to travel about. I still enjoy travelling to the races, and you know, loading my camper up and, and 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 going racing. And I still feel like that same way about this place. You know, I still I still love it. There's always something new, a new challenge, or you know, maybe electric bike race, or next year the new Honda Fire Blades coming out. So you know, I'd be real interested to be working on the new bike and developing that. So I suppose when I started racing at 18. I never thought at 41 year old I'd be studying here talking to you <laughs> with a chance of winning more TTs, you know. So, regarding retirement at the moment, no, but at some stage it's time to hang the leathers up. It's not too far away, I don't suppose. I mean, will you know or will it be that sort of thing where you do have a, a bit of a scare on the circuit? Maybe, yeah. You know, that's probably what, that's, I mean, that's the ultimate stoppage, isn't it, when you have when you have an accident? But I uh, hope that's not going to happen. But, on, uh, but you know, Hizzy, Hizzy retired in 94, winning two big major superbike races and walked away. and you know, that would be the way to do it, but it's going to be tough, you know. But I mean, Joey won three at 48, you know, that's seven, seven or eight years away from now. And, you know, I can't see myself at 48 winning three races. I just can't see it. But uh, we'll see. Stranger things have happened. But uh, at the moment, one step at a time, one year at a time, and, uh, you know, we'll keep going. And um, finally, explain about the numbering system, because you've been given a different uh, starting number this year. Why? Uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, It'll come apparent oh. <laughs> on the day. Oh, yeah, okay. just just changing a few things around. You know, we, you know, maybe wanting to chase. And I've done a couple of years at number one and quite hit quite a few birds and bits and pieces. And I've been. Oh, it's a tactical sort of, thing then. Is sort it? of road, been the road sweeper and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I've I've had results at number three. I've had results at number four. So, you know, we're just. So it's your choice to change. Just change it, it around a little bit. They ask you or you. The change between me and Honda. You know, mm. should we do something different? And we did, and so we're going number three. So, okay. we'll see. Well, I mean, it's not that far away. You're looking forward to it, obviously. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, a little bit nervous sometimes. You know, I look behind us at the bikes. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh god, in a couple of weeks we've got to, you know, get get it wound up a bit and get 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 out on the track. But uh, yeah, 
yeah, it's all it's all good. You know, the team's working hard, uh, all the management working hard, and and you know, I'm in a fantastic position to ride great bikes and, and on a great circuit, and yeah. I know my way around. And you know, we'll uh, we'll come and see see how we get on. And what does the family think to you doing this at your age? I should have asked you that earlier. Isn't that? <laughs> a bit about retirement. Well, you know, it's the, the family never ever step in my way. You know, I mean, obviously the kids aren't really old enough to really understand the dangers of it. I mean, my missus, I've been we had our twenty fourth anniversary of the day 24 years we've been together uh, a couple of weeks ago and, and uh, you know she's been with me at the start when we didn't really have anything and we struggled and, and to go on to being successful at what we do you know so she's never uh, never stepped in my way and my mum and dad they're all all right about it and they're just probably just used to it a bit now my dad wasn't wasn't happy when i first did the tt i can assure you but uh, now they're all pretty keen on it and uh, you know We'll just we'll plug away, and you know I've said earlier, you know it pays the bills. It's my job, you know it's a professional thing I do, you know, and uh, you know I had the two kids, and you know they're extra mouths to feed, and I've got to go faster, you know I've got to go faster on the track to pay the to put put food on the table. But uh, no, you know regarding the family and friends, they all love it, love it, and uh, you know I'm sure that if I said to the missus I'm retiring, she'd be happy. <laughs> but, uh, I suppose you've got the CD to go for this year after having it cancelled last year. That's one you want to get back on your belt again. Another one. Yeah, I mean, it was looking good for a while, you know, we had a bit of success earlier in the week on the big bike and, uh, you know, we didn't get the chance to stretch our legs on the big bike again, yeah. but uh, I, I wasn't bothered, you know, the decision was made, it's not nobody's fault, it's just a real shame for the people who spend a lot of money and travel a long, long way to come and watch us, it, for them guys, it must have been a real kick in the nuts, but... Uh, you know, they respect that, and you know, I'm sure the island will fill up and flood in, and you know, we'll look forward to some some great racing when the time comes. Be patient. Well, have a good and a safe one. Thank you. Cheers.